Savanian's No Coal Management Company is a community success story. But more goes on behind the walls of the home office than meets the eye. Got a funny feeling about this place. shenanigans going on at coal management. I had no idea it was like this. Mr. Cole. And Mr. Cole. I have on good authority that this is not a normal place of business. You, you just don't know what's taking place here during the day, but there will be howling coming from downstairs. You, you know, it's like, what's up this time? Miss Viegas, what can you tell me? So I, I'm the director of the Nut House. You know, my, my motto is, is that you don't have to be crazy to work here. We will train you on that. I, it's just, it's crazy. I, I mean, I, I say it's a great place and the family, and, but dang it, it's hard to come to work every day. Why are the people at coal management so crazy? Because they have a lot of cake. <laughs> they have a lot of cake. Mm. <laughs> no, they're, they're a good group of people, very nice, but there is a lot of cake. <laughs> <laughs> Place can't be all that bad if everyone's eating cake. In fact, Coal Management Company is a pretty good place. Don Cole, with his early purchase of Alhambra Apartments in Savannah, established a family business that would expand to 14 properties in four southern cities. Their secret to success? People. You boil it down, the success is, there's a, a lot of luck, but it's a, everything is a people business. And if you treat people the way you, way you expect people to treat you, things are going to come your way. That's, it's, it's just, it's so simple. That's, that's the difference maker for us. From day one, we've had fantastic people at the sites, we've had phenomenal people and continue to have phenomenal people at the home office and that's what's really been been the secret sauce. We'll go find, uh, we'll go find Roblin. Okay. Sue Jeffers could speak firsthand to the way the Cole family treats people. Leasing consultant called me on the phone and she said, Sue, how would you like to work and uh, have free rent? I said, what would my duties be? She said, well, you'd be a housekeeper. This is our beautiful property. It was built back in 1968. Sue's no longer a housekeeper. In fact, she's the community leader at Alhambra. That's one of the main reasons why I have stayed with Cole for so long is because, like I said, it's, it's, they're, they're really family orientated. I mean, they really care about not just the residents, but they also care about their employees. Good people really equals uh, success. And uh, I just can't tell you how proud I am with all the people that work for coal management. It's, it's a wonderful situation. There's, there's one of my favorite pieces of art. The wonderful situation of coal management is a direct result of the wise and kind leadership of Don Cole, who grew a modest lumber yard on Bay Street into a sprawling retail empire called Builderama. When he sensed a change coming in the marketplace, he retired for two weeks before starting an even greater business in coal management. The wonderful people who work for the coals at Builderama and Coal Management Company have enriched every aspect of my life. In 2012, Mr. Cole was inducted into the Savannah Business Hall of Fame. At his induction life. ceremony, he I made a pledge. Forward, I shall strive to continue to show my gratitude by continu continuing to make my home, my hometown, my community, 
a better place. To accomplish those goals, Mr. Cole has counted on the ingredient that has always worked for him, having the best people around. We've got amazing teams in place and I'm so proud of. We have a team of people that work for this company that really I think would do almost anything for each other and for the company. We're all on the same page as to what we're going to provide for our customers. We don't do this out of just the love of having a job and a paycheck. We do this out of the love of the work itself and we want to help people find homes and build communities and get back to the community that we live in. Um, we do fundraising events and volunteer work and it's just always sort of that sense of what more can we do. Coal management is frequently asking that question. What more can we do? One way they've answered is through their support of the United Way of the Coastal Empire, which gathered the community together for the annual turkey trot on Thanksgiving morning after completing a very tough campaign. Greg Schrader told me that if they had come up short, the Coles had already agreed to help make up the difference. We clearly are doing God's work for so many people. Following in the wise and good footsteps of his dad, Jeff Cole has not only taken coal management to new heights of achievement, he's shown his dedication to the people of Savannah by chairing both the United Way campaign and the board of directors. Jeff's hands-on involvement on behalf of those who are the least in our community communicates an involvement that's mirrored in the coal management team and the way they interact with the people who call their properties home. There are residents that have been living with us for you know, 10, 15, 20 years who I know by their first name. And I'm not on property all the time, but when I see them, I, I know their first name, they know who I am. So yeah, I think that's what separates coal management from other companies. The water is definitely piling up and flooding down there. It's and as Hurricane Matthew targeted the Georgia and South Carolina coast for landfall, coal properties in Macon and Augusta offered empty apartments to their evacuating neighbors from Savannah and Charleston. And the managers in the Macon and Augusta properties, you know, um, compiled these little packets where it was games or movies and you know toiletries and things that these folks might be lacking when they got there staying in a vacant apartment. When time for cleanup arrived the coal management team was out in front of the effort. Our maintenance teams at all the properties jumped out started picking up debris, picking up trash, you know checking on the on the properties on the residents and taking care of needs. It was just amazing to see um, within hours again of, of the wind stopped blowing. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. We didn't talk about lunch. You know, the easy decisions are, let's see, what, what apartment community are we going to acquire or what, uh, what upgrades are we going to do at a property? Now, deciding what we're going to have for lunch on a given day, that's, that's where the rubber really hits the road. Lunch? What's this about lunch? I just thought they'd kick around here. Lunch is very important, but, and we have had a lot of luncheons. Um, 
but it, it, amazingly, there's just a lot of desserts, a lot of cakes. <laughs> um, everybody works great together. Um, we come in here and it's like friends and uh, conversation and it's just a good place. It's, it's good stuff, it really is. We have a good time too, we like to have a lot of fun. I need to read a statement that uh, Amy wrote for me. I like working for the Coles. Smile at the camera. Sound excited. This place is great. I love coming to work every day because I am so passionately in love with the Coles. And I know that sounds like I'm totally obsessed. Maybe a little bit. Oh, I love this business. It's crazy. Coal management lives the American dream. The American dream is to succeed, to live a good life, to provide your families with everything that they deserve and uh, we're succeeding and that makes you feel good. You sleep good at night knowing that you're doing your best as a company, you're doing your best as an individual and uh, we hope our employees feel that way and I think they do.